Hi, today is July 22nd, 2023. I am Christine Alexandria, the founder of Angel Chatter. And I have a very close kinship energetically with Mary Magdalene. I have for years. And when I was very lucky, blessed to go to France a number of years ago, that relationship became cemented. Uh, I now offer a monthly Zoom gathering where I channel her and answer your questions, which is why we're here today. I'm not going to answer your questions, but because today is her feast day, she wanted to come in to offer you a message of where civilization is perhaps going at this moment. So without further ado, I'm going to bring in the Magdalene. I invite you to sit back, hopefully enjoy, take notes if you wish, and listen with an open mind and heart. Hello, my children. And yes, you are on a precipice of sorts at this moment. It may feel as though the world has turned upside down. Remember, as Christine has shared many, many times, this year, 2023, is the year of healing. Healing is not just healing a hangnail or a headache or worse physically. It is also healing in that level of the mental, of acknowledging your thoughts may have served you in the past, but now they are no longer serving you. It is time to change how you view the world mentally, emotionally, and spiritually. It is time you are given opportunities in this mass consciousness of awakening to permit yourself to see the world with a more accepting energy. You may not like what is happening, but do be aware love does prevail. Do be aware that as you permit yourself to heal, you are then sending the healing to others that may have a similar thought process, a similar illness. So as we talk and reflect upon this moment, I would ask you and invite you to ask yourself what is an aspect of your personal world that you would like to change. Perhaps this one thing you would like to change could snowball into a list of things you would like to change for your world. Do write them all down. Do acknowledge each one. Do not limit and do not stay in the mindset that you are only writing about your money woes or your romance or your physical health or your home, your job, your career. But allow everything to merge onto the sheet of paper. And when you feel that this list, this one thing, is now complete. Sit back and give thanks for all that has come forward. And as you feel this gratitude build, then look upon your list again and ask yourself, because you are talking with your soul, your heart, ask yourself at that moment, what is the common energy that represents this list? Is it perhaps a lack of self-confidence or the energy of loving yourself that does not permit you to expand your gifts, that does not permit you to change the very thing that you wish because you do not believe you deserve better? Perhaps you have reached a level within your monetary income. Perhaps your health has plateaued. Perhaps your romance is either non-existent or has become stale. These all can then come under the 
umbrella, if you will, of knowing you deserve more, but not sure how to go upon it. So there, you may ask me, as well as my dear friend, Michael, Archangel Michael, the angel of protection, to come forward to not only protect you in this endeavor of change, but to allow that energy of love, of healing, to them come forward and to assimilate within your psyche. Notice where this energy flows within your physical being. Notice how it expands your energy. Know that you can call upon this every day of your life. And as you feel your energy build, and as you feel this common denominator beginning to crumble in its control over you, release. Give thanks for this newness of you emerging. And as this newness of you growing, you will feel that energy build from the earth herself. And then because it is energy, you are then allowing this energy to go across the world via the ley lines to those who could also benefit. So therefore you are becoming a healer simply by healing yourself. And in this gift of love, you give to others. For you are taking care of yourself first. In this gift you are giving to others, you are helping the masses to also awaken. This is an important time in the human's evolution. The, oh, what is the word I desire? The uh, misfortunes of those could be could be cured but the ego is strong is it not the ego says that there is judgment based on another's skin color there is judgment based on another's sexual orientation there is judgment based on a, one's appearance for if one is is obese they must be lazy if one is too thin they are not eating healthily or they are lazy uh, if one lives in a certain kind of home, judgment is put upon them. If there is judgment upon what you wear, where you or another went to school for you, or if you did go to school, there is judgment constantly. But when you allow yourself to be you, to be a representation, to be this ambassador of love, you then begin to teach others the same simply by your example. This energy of love, this is not something that is new, but it is something that has come uh, quite diluted over the centuries. And I shall remind you that love has no conditions. It is humans that have put the conditions on love to now you say it is unconditional love and I say stop it is not when you say I love them but that is your condition my darling it is when you say I love you and I accept you for whom you are and how you look and that includes how you love yourself it is this energy of love that can change the world. It is the energy of love that permits and embraces forgiveness. Forgiveness does not mean forgetting. Forgiveness means that you are no longer having this energy control your actions or inactions. It is love. So allow yourself to absorb this energy of love. Love is strong. Love protects you. It is when your mind thinks it is loving, but it is too busy thinking and controlling and laying conditions. It is when you love from here that the change can be made. 
I invite you to join us in sacred community. I will permit Christine to share this with you when I am complete with this transmission. But do understand, my child, that you are loved. You have a gift and you deserve what you dream of. The change is now, but it is up to you to permit it. I remain the Magdalene. Thank you for listening. If you wish to join us in sacred space in the respite, I, I lovingly welcome you. You may find more about me at angelchatter.com. And if you wish to join the rest, but the link will be attached to this video. Thank you very, very much. And I send you great love. Bye for now.